we have with us Mr. Jay Shah, Honorary Secretary, BCCI. Thank you so much for being here, sir. Mr. Brijesh Patel, Chairman, IPL. Thank you for keeping us company today, sir. The first World Cup winning captain for Team India, the legendary Kapil Dev, Kapil Paji. Thank you so much for being here and gracing this occasion. And of course, the 2011 World Cup winning captain, the skipper of the Chennai Super Kings, Nammatala M.S. Dhoni. Look at the Satama is Lady Glamay. The smiles on your faces tell me that today is going to be extremely memorable and highly energetic because we want that tone to remain from the start to the finish. But right now, we await the arrival of the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. After his arrival, we will proceed with this evening's function. Thank you so much once again for joining us, gentlemen on the dais and the ladies and gentlemen in the house.
his valuable time to make this occasion memorable. Our chief minister is not only a sportsman himself, but an ardent fan of the game. In him, we have someone who represents the true aspirations of the state. It was evident when he expressed his joy of the crores of our people when he immediately tweeted on the victory. Fantabulous performance from Chennai. <laughs> the kings have rode back, he said. Sir, we were truly touched by your sentiment when you tweeted to us. As you said, Chennai is waiting, unbudden, for MS Dhoni to celebrate this victory. And here we are with you here today, sir. Our captain is here to celebrate this win for us. I extend a warm welcome to Mahinder Singh Dhoni, our be beloved Tale, as he is fondly known. <laughs> to us, he represents the axiom, one man practicing sportsmanship is far better than 50 preaching it. A very warm welcome to Sri Jay Shah, Honorary Secretary BCCI, and Sri Brijesh Patel, IPL Chairman. You have brought joy to sports fans across India and the world during a very difficult year for all of us. A COVID-interrupted IPL was only able to see the light of day thanks to the efforts of you and your BCCI colleagues. My warmest welcome to all of you. We also have with us Sri Kapil Dev, India's first World Cup winning captain. And on a personal note, my father's early cricketing hero, that has to be mentioned. Thank you all for being with us here today. This victory is a proud moment for the people of Tamil Nadu and for the rest of Chennai Super Kings fans all across the world. This is the first time such a glorious function is being held since the inception of CSK in 2008. Since then, Chennai Super Kings has emerged as Vice Chairman, Managing Director, India Cements, who had who had the vision 13 years ago to bid for an IPL team for our city. This year is very significant to India Cements as we celebrate our journey of 75 years in nation building. As our Managing Director has said, this spectacular victory of the Lions, led by MS Dhoni in IPL 2021, is our crowning glory and the perfect tribute to India Cements in its platinum jubilee year. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to all of you. Thank you, Rupa ma'am. Congratulations on the 75 glorious years and, of course, the victory of the Chennai Super Kings. We request you to now felicitate our chief guest, the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Thira M.K. Stalin. A special memento will be handed over to our Honorable Chief Minister right after this felicitation. The special memento, of course, will be the miniature version of all four IPL trophies and the two champions trophies. And that will be presented along with an autographed jersey to the Honorable Chief Minister. There's so much legacy and so much history there. Thank you, sir, for accepting it. Thank you, ma'am. Well, there you go. The autographed jersey that will be presented to the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. What a beautiful moment this is as he receives this lovely memento as an ambassador of the people of Tamil Nadu. I'm sure this will find a special place in your home or office, sir. Thank you so much for accepting that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to welcome to the podium a true patron of the sport. He is a man who braved all the odds and ensured the smooth operation of the IPL 2021, given the multiple challenges he would have faced. It is time to welcome to the podium Mr. J. Shah, Honorary Secretary, BCCI, to address the gathering. Would you please greet him with a ro strong round of applause, please. Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Sri M.K. Stalinji, 
former BCCI President and ICC Chair N. Srinivasan ji, former Team India Captain and 1983 World Cup winner Shri Kapil Dev, former Team India Captain and Lieutenant Colonel M. S. Dhoni, <laughs> IPL Chairman and my colleague Mr. Bridges Patel, and Tamil Nadu Cricket Association President Ms. Rupa Gurunath. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, well, when I was invited for this wonderful function, the first thing I was looking forward to seeing was the love and affection of the people of Tamil Nadu having for their franchisee, Chinde Super King. <laughs> the connect between fan and franchisee is magical. Why not when you are having a captain like MS Dhoni? <laughs> the way Mr. N. Srinivasan built the team, it's not merely a team, but a family. A family that comes from different parts of the world and sticks together through thick and thin. Mr. Srinivasan has been a veteran cricket administrator and one can see his stamp on his team. He never interferes in cricket de uh, cricketing decision, but he empowers his team to take informed decision. A lot of credit of CSK's success over the years will go to Mr. Srinivasan because he stood by his team in his difficult time. I must add that Kashi Viswanathan, we called him Kashi ji, is, is like glue which binds team together. Season after season, he is navigating the team through difficult phases. I remember when CSK was stuck down in the COVID in 13th IPL season, he put in a lot of work and got everyone together in extended quarantine time. It wasn't easy at all the way he managed it. He inspire us with energy and passion. <laughs> Talking about the 13th edition of the IPL, I had observed that when CSK struggled that season, many said that team is old, it's and that's army. They felt that fast-paced game was not suited for CSK veteran. But they forgot that experience is not bought in the market. Experience is earned through determination and hard work. How can anyone take CSQ so lightly when you are having a captain like MS? <laughs> MS Dhoni is a heartbeat and backbone of the CSK. Mahi is the most successful captain India has ever produced. <laughs> System that he has set and the culture the team has developed will always give a result, be it for India or for Chennai Super King. The bond he has built and legacy he has created will stay for ages. I recall my interaction with Mai when I approached him to the mentorship role for the Team India. I told MS that India needs you. India needs your support and sharp understanding for the game. And your presence for an event like T20 World Cup, he said yes. He will never speak about it, but it is my duty to inform you everyone. He said he will not take a rupee for his service. <laughs> Indian cricket is proud to have a leader like MS who are ready to serve whenever the country needs them. The magical turnaround of the CSK this season has a lot to do with Dhoni's cool and calm persona. The CSK has a faith in the system, their philosophy and their players. They did not change their core group but showed confidence in them. The CSK has shown special commitment for Test Cricket too. When CSK bid for Mr. Cheteshwar Pujara and where Hammer went down, the room was filled with applause both for Pujara as well as CSK. <laughs> I know that you all are eagerly waiting to see CSK play at the Chepok. The moment is not very far. <laughs> the 15th season of the IPL will take place in India and it will be more exciting than ever with two new teams joining. We have a mega auction coming up, so it will be interesting to see what the new combination looks like. Once again, congratulations to Chennai Super King for being crowned the champion. I would like to thank Mr. N. Srinivasan for inviting me in a such a wonderful function. Have a great evening, all of you. Thank you once again. 
Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Congratulations on a fabulous IPL season that's gone by. But the biggest takeaway for us is that we could very soon see the men in yellow walk out onto their favorite, favorite stadium in the world, the Chepok. Aren't you excited, guys? Are you have it. All right, moving forward. The next speaker on stage is one of the giants of domestic cricket in India, a dazzling stroke player. He was nothing short of a sensation in the 1970s. Let's welcome Mr. Bridesh Patel, the chairman of the Indian Premier League Governing Council, to say a few words and address the gathering. Would you please greet him with a strong round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is really a bouncer for me because we are, I was not make, going to make a speech. That's what Kasi told me that. And uh, anyway, uh, at the outset, let me congratulate uh, Chennai Super Kings uh, for this victory. Uh, as it's been a great uh, uh, team effort. And uh, as uh, Jaisa said, that uh, captaincy is very, very important. And NMS Dhoni has really led the side uh, very well. And uh, I've had some personal experience with uh, MS. Uh, I was the manager for the T20 World Cup in Bangladesh. And uh, the true character came out. He's so simple. He's so approachable. He's, uh, he studies the game so very well. And uh, behind the stumps, you know, he, he knows uh, how the wickets are playing. and. Uh, uh, advises his bowlers, and he knows whether uh, well what field uh, to set uh, for each batsman. So I think uh, that's made a big difference. And as I said in Bangladesh, uh, I told Dhoni that listen, we need to do the selection, and uh, he said no, no, we just the coach and myself, we, you know, we, the practice we just select the team. And I, I said sorry, uh, we need to follow some procedures and. In the BCCI, we need to sit down and write down the team, and you need to sign. And you readily agreed. I mean, that was very nice of you, uh, <laughs> MS. And uh, I think, uh, as uh, Jay Sir said, that uh, Chennai Super King is more like a family. And thanks to Mr. Srinivasan, who's been uh, the main person behind it. He bid for the team, and uh, Chennai Super Kings has become a champion side. And he supported the team throughout. And uh, he, what I've said earlier as well, that no president of the cricket board has run cr cricket and given employment to cricketers in the last 50 years. <clears throat> and Mr. Srinivasan has supported the cricketers. And I remember my... Uh, some of our Karnataka boys also came, Mysore those days, uh, came and played for India Cements. And even Rahul Dravid was part of India Cements, and I don't know whether he's still part of India Cements now. So he has supported cricket, not only now, but for, I mean, India Cements has been supporting cricket for the last 50 years. And he's got a very, very good team with uh, Kasi Ji uh, and his uh, team there who really look after the players. And uh, it's easy for them because they've been running cricket for so many years. And uh, the players are very, very comfortable. And uh, they enjoy playing for Chennai Super Pain. And the support is tremendous. I mean, uh, the Chennai uh, crowd, the Tamil Nadu crowd is, uh, is really supporting CSK. And we always feel that as administrators that CSK should do well because if CSK does well, the TRP goes up. <laughs> because the CSK followers do not watch any other matches. So as our, as administrators, we want the, the CSK to do well. Uh, with these few words, I must congratulate CSK and Dhoni and his team and the support team and all the players. Uh, congratulations and wish you all the best. And uh, maybe we see you at... Uh, Chepok Ground uh, next year. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your memories and thoughts with us, but most importantly, for being so candid as well. Ladies and gentlemen, if there was one moment in history that really changed the face of Indian cricket, 
It was in the year 1983 when India won their first ever World Cup at Lords. Everybody had written, written us off, but we proved them wrong, didn't we? And the man who led the charge is sitting right here. A legend of the game, India's first ever World Cup winning captain. Kapil Dev, ladies and gentlemen. I request you, Kapil Party, to please join us at the podium to address the gathering. Namaskar, good evening to everybody. Honorable Chief Minister, member on dais, my friends, fellow cricketer whom I played, and India Seaman fa family. That's the most important why I'm here. I'm humble, really. You invited me, given me opportunity to come back to my favorite city. Uh, this city, I always feel I played my best cricket in this part of the world. I have only one question mark in my life was, where was Srinivasan when we were playing? <laughs> I think uh, I must say that a lot of administrators come and gone. Certain people made an impact uh, on the game. And definitely, sir, you made an impact on Indian cricket. <laughs> we, are, we are all part and parcel of uh, this uh, cricket, which is growing so beautifully in our country. I must say that, hats off to you. You are the first uh, administrator who tried to look after the players. That's, that is the key. A lot of people come and gone, but you started few things which we never ever believed it could have happened. So thank you very much. And uh, when you have MS Dhoni, I don't have to say much. I mean, the man, colorful man, uh, I mean, we do need heroes in our life. The game will grow. If we don't have hero, next hero, I think game will come down. So I want to say to the India Cement and CSK, well done. You made us proud. You've taken the game in a different level. I want to say, keep up the good spirit. It's more important, play the game as fair as you can. Sometime, you may not win, that's okay, but your spirit should be there, and that is very, very important. Thank you very much once again. You're inviting me, giving me opportunity to come this part of the country, which I love the most. Uh, I have a lot of good memories, which I don't want to talk. I learned a lot of Tamil uh, word, which is not very good, <laughs> partly, partly to Shri Khan, he's sitting my hero. <laughs> Shrikant was, you, you started playing T20 now. He started <coughs> before 83. He was, <coughs> he was the first person, I believe, who started T20. At that time, if we hit anybody over mid-off or mid-on, uh, that means he won't be in the team. Today you learn. So I want to say, Shrikant, well done. you given a lot of people how to play the game. Play this T20. And congratulations to every member of uh, India Cement. Keep up the spirit. It's 75. Hope we can live for the seeing the 100th year also. Good luck to everybody. Thank you, Kapil Padri. Wonderful as always. And I just noticed a 1983 World Cup reunion happening here. We have Mr. Ravi Shastri and uh, Chika, of course, Mr. Krishnamachari Shrikant. A big round of applause for our World Cup heroes who are right here with us today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, history was created at Lords in the year 1983, but the year 2021 also saw another chapter of history being created in the IPL. Let's be honest. 2020 was not a good year for us. It was the first year that the Chennai Super Kings didn't make it to the playoffs. There were heartbreaks everywhere. But that is life, isn't it? It's full of ups and downs. And once you are at the bottom of the barrel, there is only one way upwards. And that is exactly what the men in yellow did. They believed in the process. They believed in their spirit. They believed in their tale. 2021 
saw the Chennai Super Kings at the same venue in the second half of the IPL. Winning against all odds, becoming the first team to qualify for the playoffs, the first team to the, make it to the finals, and the team that reigned champions of the IPL 2021. Here's a look at their journey for you. Members of the Chennai Super Kings uh, contingent have tested positive for COVID-19 and this is after they have landed in Dubai. So this comes as a huge blow because they were supposed to start training from today. And uh, names of the players and the support staff and the officials are not known yet but looks like the entire team is going to an additional 7 day quarantine. First time the CSK ever lost an IPL match by 10 wickets. And in the past, you think CSK stands for excellence. Have CSK made the mistake of living in the past? Because excellence doesn't live in the past, right? It's a wonderful shot. A little too late. Together, we pursue with CSK with their philosophy that may be one year too far. Will be another fall, but too little too late. I still thought, wow, they've done well at the end, winning three on the drop. This is just... Exquisite batting, well played, Rudraj Gaikwad. Uh, he's done well, he's done well the last couple of games. The missed opportunity was when he got COVID, so he missed our pre-season, uh, he came back. But they only really found their feet right at the back end of the tournament, which was far too late. So not to see uh, the team in yellow compete in the finals was a big surprise to us all. And it's your last game. Could this be, MSD, your last game ever in yellow? Definitely not. As an army of fans, CSK are very well represented there and a lot of them are saying, what next? What's the message to the fans? Well, we'll come back strong, you know, that's what we are going for. Welcome Chennai, happy working here. Yeah, I got Chennai finishing fourth. Hey. I don't see them finishing in the top four. I don't think that they'll qualify this season. They went back to where the fans are used to seeing them, on that point stable. Some big news coming in from India. The ongoing Indian Premier League season has been indefinitely suspended after a spate of coronavirus cases were found inside the tournament bubble over the last two days. of the Indian Premier League will be completed in the UAE in the September-October window. David Yorker, he tries and got one, says on that top of that! Thank you very much! Ryan, Deepak Chahar, goes for the shot, clears mid-wicket, that's good enough for the Chennai Super Kings! Oh, the Chennai Super Kings are victorious! Oh, turned away next side, that'll be the game.
it's just starting to swing the Chennai way. And you can be so proud of the legacy you left behind for Chennai Super Kings and they can build on it. Ladies and gentlemen, what a man, what a leader, MS Dhoni. But Sheila haven't left behind them. hasn't left anything behind. What he's growing into is a wonderful legacy that we've all cherished, supported, and loved over the years. I think it is time to give the Chennai Super Kings a standing ovation because this is what dreams are made of. This is what success is made of. This is a life story that they have taught us. It is the story of the comeback being stronger than a setback always. Thank you for teaching us these wonderful lessons. Thank you for sticking it together as a family. And thank you for this wonderful coveted fourth IPL trophy. Whew. If you were a true CSK fan, then that would have certainly caused a lump in your throat. It did in mine. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now request the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Peter M.K. Stalin, to present mementos to the lions that made it happen that made this trophy possible. I request the players of the Chennai Super Kings to come up on stage and collect their memorabilia. Without further ado, can we start with the skipper of the Chennai Super Kings? Namathala MS Dhoni ke aur periya visal. Adinga pa. Chennai Super Kings ke periya visal adinga. Yenga ur Chennai ke periya visal adinga. I request Mr. Robin Utapa to come up and collect his memorabilia. Ravi, the performance that we saw of yours in the qualifier one was just outstanding and will be talked about for years to come. Amati Raidu, congratulations on a fabulous season. Shadul Thakur. The highest wicket taker in the UAE leg. Show him some love, guys. Karun Sharma. Congratulations. Bhagat Varma. Let's keep the applause going. Come on. We've loved watching them for so many years, and they're here right in front of us. Our very own El Balaji, come on guys, rolling coach of the Chennai Super Kings. 
Congrats, Bala, on a fabulous season. Dr. Arun Baba. Come on, let's keep the applause going, Dr. Madhu. Mr. N. Sanjay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for me to welcome to the podium the man of the moment. Now, I can talk to you about his long list of achievements because he has been one of the greatest leaders to lead the Indian cricket team. A World Cup winning captain, four IPL trophies, two champions trophies. He's won all the ICC trophies. I mean, I can go on with this list of achievements, but I, what I really want to tell you is from within. The connection that he's had with this city, the connection that he's had with this people is unbreakable. His birthplace may be Ranchi, but he truly is the prodigal son of Singara Chennai. And his connection with the city is so intimate. Let me tell you, when the weather gods knew that you were arriving in Chennai today, after many, many weeks, the rain has completely stopped and the sun has come out to greet our very own Thala with lots of whistles in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to hear from our Thala Dhoni. Congratulations. <laughs> Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, along with all the guests, on the podium. All the ex-cricketers, my fellow cricketers, BCCI administrators, and all the fans over here, a very warm welcome to all of you. I think it's a great stage where I can thank all the ex-cricketers who are sitting over here, my fellow cricketers, and also the BCCI administrators for their contribution towards cricket. We are here today because of what they have done in the past and the current lot of players, you know, what they are doing right now. So thanks a lot for your effort. Cricket has changed over the years, the formats have changed. But because of your effort, we are standing today over here and cricket will only move forward. As far as Chennai is concerned, the association started in 2008 when it comes to IPL. But it started before that when it came to some of the other formats. One of the most memorable being my test debut, you know, which happened in, in Chennai. <clears throat> I never knew that I'll be picked by CSK. I was in the auction and I got picked and it gave me an opportunity to understand a culture which was very different from where I actually came from. And what made it even more different was, I'm, I'm more like a wanderer, you know, my, my parents came from UP, it was initially UP, then it became Uttarakhand. I was born in Ranchi, which was Bihar, then later on became Jharkhand. Got my job at the age of 18 with railways in West Bengal, you know, Kharagpur. And then I came to Chennai and I, I believe Chennai taught me a lot, Tamil Nadu taught me a lot when it came to how to conduct myself, how to appreciate the game. Each and every game that we played at Chepok, the fans came and they supported good cricket. You know, a lot of times you have that mentality where you want your team to do well, but you don't want your other team, you know, the opponent to do well, which was never the case in Chennai. <clears throat> 
Uh, I think Sachin Paji got one of the best ovations whenever he walked into the ground, you know, even when he was playing for Mumbai Indians. So that was the love and the understanding of the game, you know, when it comes to the fans of Tamil Nadu, you know, when it comes to cricket. We had a very good run from 2008. We had a very good run when it came to franchisee cricket. But it became interesting in 2020. That was the first season where we didn't qualify to the next stage of IPL. It gave us a chance to test the real character of the franchisee. Because when the going is good, you always keep talking about what you do, what, you, what is the process that you follow. But it gave us an opportunity to earn the respect of the players and the fans. You know, because we said we believe in the process, we don't believe in the result. And the result definitely didn't go in our favor in the, in the 2020. And I feel we earned the respect of the men because they said, this is what they do. They walk the talk. And that's one of the main reasons why I believe we could came back strongly and we were able to win the title this year. It will always be a challenge. And that's what cricket is all about. You know, if, if the other franchises were not strong enough, we won't be talking about TRPs. But overall, it's the fan following that CSK has got. But I won't like to limit the fan following only to Tamil Nadu. I think it goes much beyond that. It goes, <clears throat> it goes beyond the state of Tamil Nadu, and it goes beyond the border of India. Wherever we have played, you know, whether we are playing at Chepok, or we go to Bangalore, we go to Mumbai, we go to Delhi, or when we have played at Durban, Joburg, or Dubai, we have got the most support, you know, wherever we needed them. So I would like to thank the fans for supporting us the way they have done, even through the lean patch. Two years we were missing, and those two years were the most talked about years when it came to CSK in the social media. That's what fans are there for. When we are not doing well, when we are not there, they backed us. I've always planned my cricket. You know, my last game that I played was in Ranchi. The, the ODI version, the last home game, was at my hometown in Ranchi. So hopefully, my last T20, you know, it will be in Chennai. <laughs> Whether it's next year, or in five years' time, we don't really know. <laughs> so, on that note, you know, thanks for coming. Uh, it's a real pleasure being here. Thanks. Thank you, MS. Always keep us guessing. That's what we like. The Chepok crowd, ladies and gentlemen, is known to be amongst the most appreciative in the country. You heard it from our skipper as well. Vandorai Varavakum Tamil Makkal Labdina Suluang, Adadanam Vande, Ovur and Alum Pandikitrukum, Adadanam Lodia Pandbadum. And nobody fascinates us like the way the Chennai Super Kings do. It is time to invite the visionary behind the team an industrialist, a sports administrator, and an evergreen fan of cricket. I now request Mr. N. Srinivasan, Vice Chairman and Managing Director of the India Simmons Limited, to please share a few words on this lovely occasion. Respected Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Thiru M. K. Stalin, members of the Cabinet Ministers of the Cabinet of Tamil Nadu, Honorable Members of Parliament who are present here, Secretary of the Board of Control for Cricket in India, Sri Jay Shah, Chairman of the IPL, Sri Bujesh Patel, Members of the large India cement family, I, I take into account that everybody who has played cricket, who has played for us, is here. There are two 
or three greats who are here were present. First, I really, I am very happy that Kapil could come. <laughs> there are two others in the audience who I want to acknowledge. One is the incomparable Ravi Shastri. <laughs> and our own Krishnamachari Srikanth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I... This is, in a, in a sense, an emotional time for me because everybody had written us off. But all of us had faith in the team. I always tell people that we own the franchise, not the players. So, no player wants to lose. I mean, if we, for some reason or other. So, therefore, we treat victory and defeat as two, as imposters, two sides of the same coin. I must, at this time, reminisce a little about the, the late V.B. Chandrasekhar was a person who raised the battle first on behalf of CSK. How did the name CSK came, come? Srikant tossed a ball, I mean, there was a photograph in the Hindu of Srikant tossing a ball and asking people to suggest the name. The most names came for Chennai Super Kings. That is how Chennai Super Kings was chosen as a name. And then I had told, I had a reason for me not able to go to the first, I was the treasurer of the board. I could not go for the first set of the auctions, first set. I told VB, VB, any cost MS Dhoni. It turns out that was the best decision I, I took. VB Chandrasekhar, true, you know, he was an aggressive bat. I don't know how many of you know that he was, he was part of the Ranji Trophy winning team of, of, of Tamil Nadu. An outstanding cricketer, he was no more. So, he managed somehow or other, in, in, in spite of all, everybody wanted MS Dhoni, but, but here we got MS Dhoni. And that is when the relationship between India Cement family and MS Dhoni started. At, at no time, I, don't, I do not think we have in our entire period disappointed MS Dhoni. He has never disappointed us. I share a secret with you that uh, no, we, we, are, we are privileged that we have two World Cup winning captains in our midst. Kapil Dev and MS Dhoni. But I was, I was talking to Gary Kirsten, who was then the coach of the Indian team. At the time, the World Cup was being played. He said, sir, you don't have to worry. I, ju I just looked at him, I didn't even ask why. He said, on the field, there is nobody who can beat MS Dhoni. <laughs> that coming from, a, from an outstanding international cricketer himself. But that is very true. I don't want to name one former cricketer who supports, you know, he, he was saying to support Delhi, he said, everything is fine. We have, on paper, we are very good. But when they see CSK, they start to shake. <laughs> see, the, the fact of the matter is, CSK has, I mean, plays a role larger than life itself. It is not that CSK wins, others lose also sometimes. But this year was an outstanding performance. Captain came in, chipped in. I always tell people this year we won the IPL in the semi-final. When MS Dhoni and 
to the extent that the captain of the Indian team, Virat Kohli, tweeted, the king is back. <laughs> Truly, he, ne he never left us. And people keep bugging him, you know. Are you going to continue? Are he is there, I say. He is not gone anywhere. <laughs> Why don't you understand the fact that he is there? He is still there he, with us. Which is why I, I appreciate his, when somebody said, what about your legacy? He said, I'm not gone. <laughs> so, the, so many international captains have played under him. If we look at CSK, the, we, have, we, we have had sometimes a star studded by side. But we also have sometimes people who are not themselves superstars. He has managed superstars, he has managed them by good. It is universally acknowledged, I mean, that any player will give his best, better than his best under MS Dhoni. That all of us have seen. <laughs> the problem actually is for the management of of the CSK is how to get this whole gang back. Because one of the reasons, I think, for the success of the CSK has been consistency. And also, at all times, we have shown faith in our players. We, we do not like to leave any player. We don't like to leave outside. See, Captain also is, is of the same mind. He also doesn't. And if anybody thinks we have a hand role, we play a role in the selection, no, it's only him. There's only one captain. And that captain all of us love, all of us respect. Because I do not know how many of you know that is he is an intense student of the game, of the player, he will say, sir, no, sir, this player will not, uh, will not fit into our dressing room. He is very, very, he is far more astute than people give him credit for. <laughs> and I have never seen him, he never, never, I mean, he's really Captain Cool. That, 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 that expression fits him, Captain Cool. Whatever be the situation, you will not see. But only once, when we came back from banishment, and we came back, you know, we were unfairly thrown out. But okay, that's another story. We came back every year, the start of the season, I have a small, that is the only interaction I have, I, a small dinner with the team. That year, we had just come back. So I welcomed the team. I was slightly, uh, I'm human, I was slightly emotional. Because we had come back after two years, and we had expectations of the year. The first time in my life, I saw our captain also being emotional. He is not one to show emotion at all, but that, that it was a private function, it is private, so I cannot ex exhibit it. But what he said is, we have to win. And we won that year. <laughs> the journey of the Chennai Super King is a journey of faith. It's a journey of leadership. I do not think anybody else could have managed the difficulty, difficult periods that we went through as he did. I mean, he never showed it on his face. Whatever we, whether we win or lose is the same. And that is the hallmark of a champion. So, 
I can talk about him all the time. I can, I can talk a lot, but Honorable Chief Minister, I know, has to go. So I want to only end by saying, I want to thank everybody. I want to, I mean, in particular, the Honorable Chief Minister, ministers, members of parliament, former cricketers, cricketers, all cricketers who played for CSK in the audience. I thank all of you to make this a very happy and a very memorable occasion. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for that trip down memory lane. Picking off what he said, the Chennai Super Kings is a team that has seen the lowest of lows and the highest of highs. But through it all, one thing has been a constant. All of us, the fans, we've stood by the team in all their ups and downs. And the team definitely believes that they owe the fans a lot, especially the ones from Tamil Nadu. And so the India Simmons Limited and the Chennai Super Kings together dedicate the trophy of the IPL 2021 to the people of Tamil Nadu. I now request the Honorable Chief Minister, Thira M.K. Stalin, to receive the trophy on behalf of the people from the hands of our skipper, Tala Dhoni and Mr. N. Srinivasan. Ladies and gentlemen, to the super fans for the whole lot of your love, we brought back the first IPL trophy. This is ours to remember, to cherish, to love, and to support forever and ever. So we'll just give them another couple of minutes for a quick photo opportunity because there are a whole bunch here and everybody will want to get a good picture of this. We hope it's not too heavy. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. Now there are two factors that always manage to put a smile on every Chennaiite's face. One is a mention of the Chennai Super Kings and the other a highly visionary project, Singara Chennai. This is what we love to call our city, isn't it? And we all know the name that is synonymous to Singara Chennai, a leader who redefines the grammar of a chief minister by being accessible and down to earth, a great administrator who has delivered most of his assurances within a few months in the office, a champion who confronts all odds to make the state lead in all spheres, and an all-time cricket lover. May I now invite the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Thira M.K. Stalin, to address the gathering. Let's hear, ladies and gentlemen, from the people's leader himself. Uraya Tonga with the Kabun Bay or Say the Nasuli Akano Namuria, India Summon, Sinibasan of Rahim in the Negat Shiki, Nibandu of Endum, Mudamacharaka Vandu of Endum, Indian Aditar. Our Purta Rail and Mudamacharaka Vandurangalam in Nepurta Rail, Doni would be a Sikhakan on the Ritra. Namatu are like a pair and petty alarm on the ground. Elara already was here. Yang of Pa Mutamari, Kalanga, the room, Doni would have seen them. Adanala Magishia on the cram, Perumayo on the cram, Puri put on the cram. உங்களுக்கு 
இந்திய கிரிக்கெட் கட்டுப்பாட்டு வாரியத்தினுடைய செயலாளர் திரு ஜெய் ஷா அவர்களை ஐ பி எல் தலைவரும் முன்னாள் கிரிக்கெட் வீரருமான திரு பிரிஜேஷ் பட்டேல் அவர்களை இந்திய அணிக்காக விளையாடிய தலை சிறந்த ஆல்ரவுண்டர் திரு கபில் தேவ் அவர்களை தமிழ்நாடு கிரிக்கெட் சங்கத்தினுடைய தலைவர் திருமதி ரூபா குருநாத் அவர்களை விழாவிற்கு வருகை தந்து சிறப்பித்துக் கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய நீர்வளத்துறை அமைச்சர் மாண்புமிகு துரைமுருகன் உள்ளிட்ட அமைச்சர் பெருமக்களே சட்டமன்ற நாடாளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர்களே கிரிக்கெட் விளையாட்டு வீரர்களே அன்புக்குரிய ரசிகர்களே உங்கள் அனைவருக்கு என்னுடைய அன்பான வணக்கம் ஐ பி எல் கிரிக்கெட் விளையாட்டுப் போட்டியில் வெற்றி பெற்ற சென்னை சூப்பர் கிங்ஸ் அணியினரை வாழ்த்தி பாராட்டுகிற விழாவில் பங்கேற்கக்கூடிய வாய்ப்பு பெற்றமைக்கு நான் மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் இந்த வாய்ப்பு எனக்கு உருவாக்கி தந்திருக்கக்கூடிய திரு சீனிவாசன் அவர்களுக்கு என்னுடைய உளமார நன்றியை நான் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்ள விரும்புகிறேன் சென்னை என்றாலே சூப்பர் தான் மீண்டும் ஒரு முறை அது நிரூபிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கு அதற்காக இந்த பாராட்டு விழா நடந்துகிட்டு இருக்கு நான் இங்கே இருந்தாலும் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியில் இந்த விழாவிலே கலந்து கொண்டிருந்தாலும் முதலமைச்சருங்கிற முறையில் கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய என்னுடைய மனசு இப்போ கிடந்த கடந்த பத்து நாட்களாக பெஞ்சிட்டு இருக்கக்கூடிய மழையை பற்றி தான் நினச்சிக்கிட்டு இருக்கிறேன் வெள்ளம் எங்கே பார்த்தாலும் ஓடிக்கிட்டு இருக்கு அதற்குரிய பாதுகாப்பை நிவாரண பணிகளை எப்படி நடத்தணும் என்பது தான் சிந்திச்சுக்கிட்டு இருக்கிறேன் இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு நெருக்கடியான நேரத்தில் சிறிது நேரம் கொஞ்சம் இலைப்பாடலாம் என்று எண்ணிக்கொண்ட நேரத்தில் தான் இந்த விழாவில் நான் கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் கோட்டைகளை இருந்தாலும் குடிசைகளை பற்றியே நினைத்தபடி இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று எங்களை எல்லாம் ஆளாக்கி எங்களுடைய முத்தமிழ் அறிஞர் கலைஞர் அவர்கள் கூறியிருக்கிறார்கள் அத்தகைய எண்ணத்தோடு தான் இந்த மேடையில் நான் நின்று கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் நானும் கிரிக்கெட் விளையாட்டில் ஆர்வம் உள்ளவன் தான் சென்னையில் மேயராக இருந்தப்போ காட்சி போட்டிகளில் நான் விளையாடி இருக்கிறேன் போட்டிகளையும் நடத்தி இருக்கிறேன் இந்திய கிரிக்கெட் அணி முதல் முறையாக உலக கோப்பை வென்ற போது அதற்கு தலைமை தாங்கி வழிநடத்தியவர் கம்பீரமான வீரராக வீற்றிருக்கிறார் கபில் தேவ் அவர்கள் நான் சென்னை மேயராக இருந்தப்போ சேப்பாக்க மைதானத்தில் நடைபெற்ற கார்கில் போர் நிதிக்கான காட்சி போட்டியிலும் அவரோடு சேர்ந்து மேயர் என்ற முறைகளை விளையாடக்கூடிய வாய்ப்பும் எனக்கு கிடைச்சிது கபில் தேவ் அவர்களுக்கு பிறகு இந்திய அணிக்கு உலக கோப்பையை பெற்று தந்தவர் தான் நம்முடைய தோனி அவர்கள் இந்த மேடையில் கேப்டன் தோனி இருக்கிறார் அவரை பாராட்டுவதற்காக வந்திருக்கிறேன் தோனி அவர்களுடைய சொந்த மாநிலம் ஜார்க்கண்ட் ஆனால் இப்போது அவர் ஏறத்தாழ சென்னைக்காரர் போலவே ஆகிவிட்டார் தமிழ்நாட்டு ரசிகருடைய செல்ல பிள்ளையாக இருக்கிறார் இப்போ அவர் டிகர் தோனி யூ மே பி ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்டேட் ஆஃப் ஜார்க்கண்ட் பட் வி த பீப்புள் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு லவ் யூ ஆஸ் ஒன் அமாங் அஸ் தமிழர்கள் பச்சை தமிழர்கள் என்றால் தோனி அவர்கள் மஞ்சள் தமிழர் தமிழர்களுக்கெல்லாம் அவர் பிடிக்கிறப்போ நம்முடைய தலைவர் கலைஞர் அவர்களுக்கு பிடிக்காமல் இருக்குமா எத்தனை பரபரப்பு இருந்தாலும் எத்தனை நெருக்கடி இருந்தாலும் தலைவர் அவர்களும் தோனி அவர்களும் கூடா இருப்பாங்க நெருக்கடியிலிருந்து எப்படி மீண்டு எழுந்து வெற்றி பெறுவது என்பதை அறிந்தவர்கள் நிரூபித்தவர்கள் ஐபிஎல் போட்டியில் சென்னை சூப்பர் கிங்ஸ் அணி கோப்பையை பெற்றது என்பதை விட ஐபிஎல் போட்டியில் தனது ஆளுமையை நிலைநிறுத்தி கொண்டதே என்பதே சரியானதாகும் கேப்டன் தோனி அவர்கள் தலைமையிலான சென்னை சூப்பர் கிங்ஸ் அணி மீண்டும் எழுந்திருக்கிறது அதுதான் மிக மிக முக்கியமானது தோனி அவர்கள் முதல் முதலாக களத்திலே குதித்த காலத்தை நினைச்சு பார்க்கிறேன் நீளமான முடி உருண்டு திரண்ட தோள்களோடு அவர் களத்தில் என்றபோது அனைத்து ரசிகர்களும் அவர்கள் அன்பு கொண்டார்கள் அவரை ஈர்த்தார்கள் 
அவர் விளாசிய சதங்கள் அதிரடியாக அவற்றை எட்டிய வேகம் ஸ்டெயிலாக அடித்த ஹெலிகாப்டர் ஷாட் மறக்கவே முடியாது யாராலும் அவருக்கென தனி ரசிகர் பட்டாளத்தை உருவாக்கி கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடியவர் டெண்டுல்டருக்கு பிறகு டெண்டுல்டருக்கு பிறகு இந்தியாவிலே கிரிக்கெட் என்றால் அது தோனிதான் எனும் நிலை உருவாக்கி இருக்கிறது நான் ஆட்சி பொறுப்பேற்றவருக்கு பிறகு ஒவ்வொரு நாளும் சில திட்டங்கள் அறிவித்தப்போ பல பேர் கிரிக்கெட் ரசிகர்கள் சில இளைஞர்கள் என்ன சொல்லி வாழ்த்தினாங்கன்னா டெய்லி ஒரு சிக்ஸ் அடிக்கிறாங்க அப்போலாம் தோனியை நினைச்சுக்கிறது உண்டு இந்திய அணியில ஒரு சிறிய நகரிலிருந்து கடின உழைப்பால் உச்சத்தை தொட்டவர் என்பதால் தான் தமிழக மக்கள் தோனி அவர்களை தங்கள் ஒருவராக தங்களில் ஒருவராக அவரை எண்ணிக்கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் சாதாரண பின்புலத்திலிருந்து வந்த அசாதாரண உயரங்களை தொட்டவர் என்பதால் தான் தலைவர் கலைஞர் அவர்களும் தோனி மேல தனி அன்பு கொண்டிருந்தார் தலை சிறந்த பினிஷர் விக்கெட் கீப்பர் விளையாட்டு வீரர் என்று சொல்வதை விட சிறந்த கேப்டன்ஷிப்புக்கான அடையாளம் அவர் என்று சொல்வதே சரியானது என்று நான் நினைக்கிறேன் திறமையாக விளையாடலாம் தனித்து வெற்றி பெறலாம் ஆனால் ஒரு அணியை வழிநடத்துவது என்பது மிக மிக பெரிய சவாலானதாகும் ஒரு அணியை உருவாக்கியவர் தான் தலை சிறந்த ஆளுமையாக போற்றப்படுவார்கள் டூப்ளிசி பிராவோ போன்ற அனுபவிக்க வீரர்களையும் ருத்ராஜ் போன்ற இளம் திறமைகளையும் ஒரே புள்ளியில் இணைத்து தோனி ஈட்டியிருக்கும் வெற்றிதான் ஒரு தேர்ந்த ஆளுமைக்கான எடுத்துக்காட்டு அத்தகைய ஆளுமை திறன் கொண்டவராக தோனி அவர்கள் இருப்பதால் தான் இன்று அனைவராலும் அவர் பாராட்டப்படுகிறார் சென்னை சூப்பர் கிங்ஸ் அணியில் விளையாடிய அனைவரையும் பற்றியும் இங்கே சொல்ல ஆரம்பித்தால் சொல்லிக்கொண்டே போகலாம் நேரமாகும் இதை முடிச்சுட்டு அமைச்சரவை கூட்டம் இருக்கு அதுக்கு நான் போயாகணும் எப்போதுமே இலக்கு தான் முக்கியம் அதை அடைய உழைப்பு தான் மிக மிக முக்கியம் இலக்கும் உழைப்பும் ஒன்று சேர்ந்தால் அவர்களை யாராலும் வீழ்த்த முடியாது இது விளையாட்டுக்கு மட்டுமல்ல அரசியலுக்கும் பொருந்தும் சென்னை சூப்பர் கிங்ஸ் அணியினுடைய சீனிவாசன் அவர்கள் சிமெண்ட் பற்றி நன்றாக அறிந்தவர் அதனால் தனது அணியை உறுதியுடன் மீட்டெடுத்திருக்கிறார் இது தொடர வேண்டும் என்று நான் கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறேன் ஒரு நல்ல விளையாட்டு வீரர் தன்னுடைய விளையாட்டை மட்டுமல்ல எல்லா விளையாட்டுகளையும் ரசிப்பார்கள் பாராட்டுவார்கள் அதே மாதிரிதான் ஒரு நல்ல அரசு எல்லா துறைகளையும் சார்ந்த மக்களையும் பாதுகாக்கும் எல்லா விளையாட்டுகளுக்கும் ஊக்கம் அளிக்கும் விளையாட்டு வீரர்களை ஊக்கப்படுத்துவதுடன் சர்வதேச போட்டிகளை அவர்கள் பதக்கங்களை வென்று நாட்டுக்கு பெருமை சேர்க்கும் வகையிலான பயிற்சிகள் அளிப்பது கேட்ட களங்களை உருவாக்கி தருவதிலும் நமது அரசு முனைப்பாக செயலாற்றுகிறது அதன் அடிப்படையில் சமீபத்தில் நடைபெற்ற டோக்கியோ ஒலிம்பிக் போட்டிகளில் சாதித்தவர்களுக்கு தமிழ்நாடு அரசின் சார்பில் அரசு பணிகளை வழங்கியிருக்கிறோம் தனித்தனி திறமை கொண்ட வீரர்கள் ஒருங்கிணைந்து செயல்பட போதும் தான் ஒரு அணி தனது முந்தைய தோல்விகளிலிருந்து மீண்டு எழும் முழுமையான வெற்றி கிடைக்கும் அந்த நம்பிக்கையுடன் தனது அபார வெற்றியின் மூலம் மீண்டெழுந்த சென்னை சூப்பர் கிங்ஸ் அணியினுடைய கேப்டன் தோனி அவர்களையும் அவரோடு இணைந்து வெற்றிக்கு துணை நின்ற வீரர்களையும் அணியின் உரிமையாளர் பயிற்சியாளர் மருத்துவர் உள்ளிட்ட அனைவரையும் வாழ்த்தி நான் வணங்குகிறேன் மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் நீங்கள் உங்கள் விளையாட்டை தொடருங்கள் நாங்கள் எங்கள் மக்கள் பணியை தொடருகிறோம் ஒன்ஸ் அகேன் ஐ தேங்க் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஃபார் திஸ் மெம்பரபிள் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டியர் தோனி டியர் தோனி வி வாண்ட் யூ லீட் சிஎஸ்கே ஃபார் மெனி மோர் சீசன் ஒன்ஸ் மோர் கேளுங்க சொல்றான் ஓகே dear doni we want you to lead csk for many more seasons thank you nandri vanakkam nandri sir ungalude swarasthyamana elbana thalaimai uraiki romba romba nandri ungalude romba busy schedule la irundhu konja neram odiki inge vandhadukku engalude manamaarna nandrigala naanga vandhu marubadiyum therivichikka aasapadrom ladies and gentlemen this this particular yellow moment will certainly be etched forever in the sporting history of tamil nadu As we conclude the show this evening, we'd like to thank our special guests on the dais and our other guests who've come here to make this moment all the more special and memorable. 
We will be waiting for that moment when we see Taladoni lead the men in yellow into Chepok once again, and possibly a fifth IPL trophy. Thank you once again for joining us. We would like to conclude today's proceedings with the national anthem. I request all of you to rise for the same. Thank you. Thank you once again for joining us and a big thank you to all the dignitaries on the dais for taking some time off and being here on such a memorable occasion. Thank you guys. We hope you loved watching our skipper, the other men in yellow and all our dignitaries. Congratulate the Chennai Super Kings on this wonderful achievement. We hopefully will meet yet again in another success story. I just want to remind all of you to just wear your masks as you step outside. <laughs>